Hey guys, happy Christmas in July. This is Angela with The Word and Home, and today we're gonna be making a paint stick Christmas ornament using these paint stir sticks from Home Depot. So I used two paint stir sticks for my package. I cut one piece eight and a quarter inches long and two pieces seven and a quarter inches long. The next thing you're going to want to do is take a drill and drill two holes in the top so that you will be able to attach a string for hanging. So I'm using wood glue to attach my three pieces together. I am simply just going to glue the edges together with my wood glue and then wipe off any excess on the front and the back and set that aside and let it dry. Once my wood glue is dry, I like to take some hot glue and just put it down the seams on the back of my sign just to give it a little extra hold. This next step is optional. I'm choosing to add a coat of dark stain to my sign, but you could also just leave it as it is if you'd like. So now it's time to add something to the front of our little sign or ornament. I am using this bag that I bought at Dollar General last Christmas. It has a really cute little image on the front that I want to use, so I'm just simply going to take my scissors and cut this bag apart and cut my image off. Um, I will trim it up and then I'll just pull some threads loose all the way around on all four sides just to have loose threads. And then I'm just simply going to use some craft glue to attach it to the front of my wood slats. So right here, I am just pulling some loose threads on each side of my little cutout. It, once they're all pulled free, you should have loose threads all the way around and that will just give it a little bit of a vintage look. Okay, now that that's finished, I want to go ahead and add my string in my holes that I drilled earlier before I add anything else to my sign. My holes were plenty big enough to just stick my string through, but remember if your string ever starts to fray on the end, you can always just use a piece of tape to tape around that end to make it go through the hole easier.
Okay, now that I have my string tied, um, I'm ready to attach my little image. I'm just going to use some craft glue that I picked up at Walmart. I use this all the time and it does dry clear. So I will just put a little bit on the back of my image and press it down on my little ornament to leave it to dry. I just wanna make sure that I put it close to the bottom of my ornament because I am planning on adding um, something to the top. So this is the very last step and the step that I enjoy the most. We're just going to add a fun little bow to the top of our ornament. So I just gathered up several different kinds of ribbon and I'll just be making an X and, and layering the different kinds of ribbon. I do always like to start with a wired ribbon at the base. So once I have all of my ribbons stacked up to my liking, I'm just going to take a piece of string and tie a knot around the very center. So I'll just flip it over and tie my knot, but then I'm also going to wrap my string around the center several times of this little bundle of ribbon, and then I'll just trim it up to my liking. Once I wind my string all the way around the center as many times as I would like, I just like to use a dab of hot glue to hold that last end of string in place. And also I use a toothpick so that I don't burn my finger. So the last step is just to use a good dab of hot glue to attach your bow to the top of your little ornament. And that's it guys. This was Angela with Word and Home. Check out wordandhome.com for more great ideas.